We're going to use the Vapor Chief 125 to clean a dirty, salty car that was out in the snow. We have in the injection tank the optimum no rinse, and we're going to use the combination of the injection and the, the pressure steam to get the car clean. Now, if you don't have a floor drain in your shop, if it's too cold outside to use running water, obviously a pressure washer would be the best way to do this, but if it's too cold outside, we don't have a pressure washer, we don't have a, uh, a floor drain, so the best way to do this is with the steamer. Now, if we just used a bucket of optimal no rinse and wiped the car down, we'd get the car fairly clean, but we want to get all the nooks and crannies where the salt is built up. So we're going to use a combination of the steam to blow out the cracks and crevices, then turn the injection on. That will spray the no rinse on the car. And that's the advantage of having an injection steamer, is that the no rinse cleaner is being sprayed on the car. We don't just want to spray steam and wipe the car down, we will scratch it. The salt is pretty built up here, and you can tell this is like sandpaper. So we have to dissolve the salt and lift it so we're not scratching the car. So let's first just put, now we've already pre-wet a towel. You don't want to start with a dry towel either, we want to have a pre-wet towel. So this towel is fairly wet, and we can wipe down with a dry towel after the car is completed. So we're going to turn the steamer on. Now we're going to use the injection. The hose is going to fill up with the no rinse and it's going to spray the cleaner on the car. And then we can start to wipe it down. The car got wet enough with the steam and the injection that now we can start to wipe it down. Now we're not actually using the steamer as a pressure washer. It would really take too long to do that. So once the no rinse is now on the car, we can start to wipe it down. And we can follow up with a, dry, a drying towel to get the car fairly dry. Now if you want to come back with some spray wax, or after this if you just take your towel and wipe it down again, we can get the car fairly clean and we have a good gloss because we're using the no rinse solution. Now as we get down towards the bottom of the car, if there's even a lot more grit and we have the, the rubber plastic molding down here, we can actually go to the horsehair brush. So we can put our horsehair brush on the wand and we can actually do a little light scrubbing for the areas on the bottom of the car that are a little worse. So if we activate our injection, the hose fills up with cleaner. And we're constantly going for a new side of the towel. It's very important to keep your towel rotated and to keep bringing up a clean side. So as we wipe this down, we're doing a pretty good job of getting the salt to run off the car and cleaning it at the same time. We come back with our drying towel. And we can also get the car fairly dry. Now in certain areas where there's still some salt, that's stuck on the car that didn't release, we can come back with some spray wax or just a towel that's already filled with optimum no rinse and give it another light wipe down. And we can come back to the back. Now, if we don't want to touch the brush to the paint, technically at this point, 
The salt could still scratch the car, so we do have to be careful about putting the brush on the car at this point. If you don't want to do that and you just want to get in these moldings, glass, rubber moldings, not a problem, but just keep your brush off the paint. We turn our injection back on. Now, for the most part, we've got the car clean. There's a lot of salt on it. The most important thing about using a steamer and a higher pressure steamer is that we've blown all the salt residue out of the cracks and crevices. We got it out of the gas tank area. We got it around from the taillights where the bumper meets the quarter panel. The door handle, there was a lot of embedded salt. We got the, the plastic trim on the bottom. The car is clean with very, very little water runoff on our shop floor. Now, obviously, using a pressure washer, using a garden hose, we'd be a lot quicker doing this, but in some instances, you're gonna create a skating rink around the car by spraying water on the car. The water could hit the car, freeze on contact. So this is the next best way of doing it. Obviously, having an injection steamer, we were able to mix the no rinse in the injection tank, spray our no rinse onto the car, that's our cleaner, that helps lift the dirt, and you can see that we didn't scratch the car getting the salt off. So the salt is off the car, the car is clean, but we are scratch free.